Okay, so this is going to be a full in-depth guide on how to get your motorcycle license in Ireland because I have seen videos, there are some videos um, that do um, this quite well, but I wanted to really um, put it in there on how you get your motorcycle license from start to finish, sorry. And there's going to be 10 steps and the first step is, uh, well, kind of 11. Uh, first step is to know what license that you're going to go for and I have... Um, videos for all the different types of licenses which I will link in the description as well as a card maybe up in the top if I get around to it. So if you have uh, if you haven't seen those videos please do look at them then come back to this video and then you can get started. The first um, step to getting your motorcycle license in Ireland is to apply for your theory test and um, this is the uh, RSA's official uh, website here. I'm going to link uh, leave links to all of these websites everything here um, and the description of what they are uh, so you can just click on it straight away so what you do is you go online you book your theory test you'll get into a a, a website like this if I can uh, zoom in a little bit and maybe move me around so I'll just move me here Um, you'll get a once you go here and then you move on to this one, you'll get a little thing like this. So you'll search for your availability and then you'll apply to your nearest um, uh, test center uh, for uh, going to get your theory test. So that's the next step. So step two is to um, find where your nearest um, theory test or RSA uh, test center is. So I'm in Dublin. You can go onto this uh, web website here and you can see uh, exactly where your nearest one is. So this one is in Churchtown. Uh, this one you have in Dunleary, which is the one I did. Um, Broomhill in Tala. Uh, Rohini, uh, Finglas, and uh, the old Navan Road. So you have a lot more. Mullingar, you've loads. You can see so wherever you are, you're going to be able to find uh, exactly what you want to do. So... Step three then is to go and pick up your learner's permit once you've completed your test. So you've gone to the test center now, you've completed your test, and uh, now you're gonna pick up your learner's permit. So um, this is the, oops, I'm in the way here. Um, this is the official website RSA again. Um, so you just pass your test and you'll be giving a theory test certificate which you're gonna bring to a, a NDLS center here. Um, and submitting the test certificate along with other documentation you'll need. So um, that's just saying that you need to bring a, when you go to the NDLS, you need to bring your a proof of address. You need to bring your um, sheet saying that you've passed the, um, uh, what you call it, the theory test itself. And then finally, you will need a identification. So your passport or something like that. Um, and then you're going to have to go and wait in there for about three hours. That's just the way it is. You're going to have to turn up at seven o'clock in the morning to get this bloody thing. It's just a pain in the ass. If you go to any of the NDLS centers on Google, they all have about half a star ratings um, because people are just pissed off at them. But that's just the way it is. Uh, step four then. Step four is you are going to go and book your IBT, which is your initial basic training. And here I'm on uh, Iron Rider Training's uh, website here. This is where I did my um, uh, theory test, or not my theory test, my IBT, and I, I couldn't have more positive words for them down there. They're really, really good, um, really professional. Uh, really, weren't, it wasn't nerve-wracking at all when you went down there. You weren't nervous about being bad or not being good enough and he, he really led you through all the steps and gave you a lot of confidence with the bikes and it wasn't anything like I know when I went down I was like oh god if I drop the bike it's gonna be a disaster but it wasn't really like that it was like just you know, we're here to learn and that's the environment that you're set in so you go and you book your theory test or for your um, IBT so if you go into courses up the top here you won't be able to see this but there's courses and then you go into initial basic training and here's the IB. Okay, so we're getting back into it. And we are, so it's on the IBT. Sorry, I got interrupted there with the video. But is it your initial basic training, which just goes over, it's a two-day course, um, which you over 
it's about eight hours a day you go in and then um, once you complete that you then are given a kind of a slip of a paper slip that you're gonna have to carry around you um, I'm not sure if I can get it hold on there it is that's what it'll look like it's a little uh, slip like this that just says you've passed your um, your IBT and that you're now eligible to ride on the road so now you're on to step six so your sixth step is that now you can start riding so you've done all you've got your theory test done you've done you've got your learner's permit and you've done your IBT so you now have the right to go out onto the road but before you do that you need to go and you need to purchase a bike so I'm gonna be very very biased and I'm gonna say we've loads of great bikes here at Retrobike Summon especially for that kind of beginner in, into A2 licenses, A1, A2 uh, licenses, you know, loads of 250s, 400s, you know, 400, 250, 225, 50cc, 50cc, 400, 50cc, 90cc, that's a car, 250cc, but you can see we have a lot of bikes that um, suit that kind of A2 license um, category, which a lot of you will be starting in at when you go in. Um, so that's the start riding and uh, you can now start riding but the seventh step then is that you need to go out and you need to buy the bike so you need to buy a bike you need to have insurance on the bike you need to tax the bike and you need to get the right gear so this is what I call the consumable um, part of your uh, license which is going to be the most expensive but that's just part and parcel with these things um, so that's the consumables. I'm gonna probably do a video um, on the cost of getting a license, a motorcycle license in Ireland, and then maybe a bit more costing after. Um, but that's really it for the seventh step. So we'll just move on to the eighth. And the eighth step is that now you've been riding for a while, you then have a mandatory uh, six months rule that you have to abide by so you can't do your test. So once you've done your IBT you have to wait six months until you do your test and you can't do uh, your test within that uh, first six months and that's really it you can then if you have a smaller bike so say if you've only bought a 250 or a 125 and you're doing an A2 license unfortunately you need to have um, a, you know a bit more powerful bike kind of in the 400 cc to do your license but I don't wouldn't worry about that at all. I don't think that you should buy a bike just to do your motorcycle test. You can go down to your uh, where you did your IPT and you can take the bike off them. That's going to suit your license and you can go in and do your do your actual test on that. And that's what I would recommend you do because you should really when you're going out to pick your bike uh, that you want to ride, you should pick it on what you actually want to ride and what you find interesting and cool and and different rather than just something that's going to uh, get into these these stupid rules that they have uh, go down to your local IBT and just borrow their bike for the day that you're going to do your test because there's no point you're just going to be spending stupid money and also as well as that you'll you'll get into bike and you'll, you'll just be bored of your bike or you just don't, won't even like your bike to begin with so how are you going to enjoy being a motorcyclist at, at the at the beginning anyway so that's your eight steps is that you have to wait six months to move on to get your license so and the ninth step then is that you are going to book your test so i have this uh, page where you're going to go on you're going to apply online and you're going to book your test so you just press apply online you put in your oopsies you're not going to be able to see this here we are you put in your if i just go in here you put in your surname, your first name, your date of birth, and then your driver's number, you sign in, and then you, you book it, and all the rest. So that's your ninth step, and then 10, you have completed your, um, your, uh, your license now, so now you're free to go, you can do whatever you like, as long as you probably ring up your insurance and you say, oh, my full license now, give me a bit of money off, thanks. Um, that's really it for the video and um, I hope it does help these the licenses in Ireland can be really really confusing and um, so if you do have any questions on them just leave them down below but I think this video has been pretty 
uh, self-explanatory and really gone through it as, as best as you can and explaining them just to cut out all the bullshit in between but if you have liked the video please do leave a like a uh, comment and also subscribe if you haven't already